Hey guys, it's Grand Admiral Thrawn, and today I am reviewing Zeb's Black Series. Now, this isn't actually the first time I have reviewed Zeb. However, there is something special about this video in that it's my two-year anniversary of being a YouTuber. So, anyway, if you don't want to see any of me talking about that, it's good for you because it's at the end of the video, so you can just skip past that crap. But uh, yeah, the reason why I'm doing Zeb for my two-year channel anniversary is he's my first, is the first Black Series I ever got. So I figured I should uh, do him, and I kind of wanted to make a remake of him anyway, so I decided I'd do Zeb. Plus, I'm already doing the Rebels characters, and it fits. So anyway, they did an amazing job of detail on Zeb. Like, look at these arms. That is three different shades of pur at least three different shades of purple alone on his arms just for detailing then they gave him like his wrist here then his shoulder how the one arm has the little white markings the face that looks phenomenal they got his beard right his ears right his face right just like Zeb is such a hard character that I think when it comes to making an action figure so there rarely are any I mean this is the only version of him in black series form and it's just so good. Like they did so many good they did so many good things with this figure. Like he has these little green things on his hands and just like so much great stuff. I mean, they did such a good job. Also, something I missed out on. I stated in a different video that Harris and Chopper and Zeb do not have comlinks. I was wrong. Zeb actually does have a comlink cuz I mean, it's not like the traditional one that's on their belts, but Zeb has his comlink, so that's something I no apologize for. Anyway, so more detailing is his outfit itself. They did how it's three different colors. It's not just one. That's very nice. And then they did the little T's on his legs. And then, speaking of his legs, these are phenomenal legs for a Black Series figure. Like, look at these. Zeb's legs are so hard to make into an action figure, and yet they did such a good job. There's articulation here, 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 and at the knees. It's just, there's articulation everywhere on this figure's legs. Now, that does also backfire in that it makes it harder for the figure to stand up properly. However, if you position it just right, then it will stand up. I haven't even gotten to his weapon yet, which, let's get into it now that I'm ready for that. Okay, so, if you're wondering, why did they only do Zeb's Electro Staff? That's not all they did. They made it how, like in the show, it can be both the Electro Staff and Zeb's Blaster. Like so. It's just a simple transformation. And then, here we go. In his hand, like so. And so you can do Zeb's blaster or his electro staff, which I think is a really good feature for the figure. Because, I mean, I know that's on a lot of the pictures, but in Rebels, he uses a blaster way more than he does the electro staff. Yet, it's like on all of his merch and everything where it's the electro staff or his pictures. It's just. But yeah, he uses his blaster way more than he uses his electro staff. But anyway, I probably should have talked more about the Electro Staff because I'm going to be going right back to it. But first, one more thing on the blaster. So they actually make it that if you want it to be like his blaster shorter or longer, because it's not really certain in the show of how long it actually is, you can do it of long or short. And then for the Electro Staff, you just simply pull these back out and turn this to be like this so that they line up. Simple like that. And then these two little things, you just gotta clip in there, like so. And you're done. Voila, you have his Electro Staff version of his weapon. Now, there is one thing I would like to say. I feel like these are a little too pink. Like, in the show, they're a bit more purple, and with the figure, they're a bit too pink. But I feel like I'm nitpicking when I say that. And his Electro Staff can fit in both hands, as you saw in my thumbnail for this video. However, the Blaster can also do both hands, as I just showed you. And voila! Zeb with his weapon in that hand. 
and Zeb with his weapon in the other hand. And then, speaking of his weapon and Zeb, they actually gave Zeb two little holes on his back, like in the show, for how he attaches his blaster on his back. And here, it's just a simple adjustment with the weapon. And voila, you have Zeb on, with his weapon on his back, like in the show. Simple and easy. And then Zeb is actually also bigger than your average Black Series figure, like Chewy, Chrysanthemum, like the figures that they make taller, they did the same thing with Zeb, which I like. And Zeb honestly deserves it, and he deserved to be in the red box wave, but although I feel like I'm glad they didn't put him in it, because... It wouldn't have worked, right, with the Black Series technology at the time. I don't think they could have got him the same as this. And I think this might honestly be one of my favorite Black Series. And not just for nostalgia, but for the fact of how much detail and time and effort went into the Zeb figure. You can tell that they did a really good job with Zeb. Anyway, now that Zeb's out of the way, we're going to go over to his box. And like most figures that are bigger, they gave him the bigger box, which is like $10 more expensive for this figure because it's bigger anyway. But Zeb earns that because, well, it's Zeb. He's bigger than most figures, so it's kind of hard for him not to have a bigger box. On the side here, that's a great image of Zeb. And like I stated earlier, he has the Electra staff instead of his blaster, which doesn't make much sense because he uses the blaster more in the show. And then Zeb was number one of the Rebels wave. However, he's actually the only member of the Spectres that I'm going to be doing number Spectre number in order. And the reason why? I didn't think to do that until I had already done Sabine, and I didn't want Sabine and Kanan to be the only two members that were out of order. So I didn't do any of them in order. I tried to just not do that, but then I decided I might as well make Zeb this one anyway. So yeah, I did Zeb as number four because he is Spectre 4. And honestly, Zeb kind of gets a little under, like he kind of is in a secondary character role compared to all the other characters. But oh well, he's still a great character in Rebels. Also, in The Mandalorian, that was just such a perfect design of when they brought him into live action with CGI. I don't know why he's wearing a pilot uniform, but still, it looked great, okay? Zeb was amazing in his quick scene in The Mandalorian Season 3. No spoilers for Ahsoka, however, not in this video. Although it is going really good, and I can't wait for the final episode. Anyway, but uh, yeah, as you can probably tell, this figure is definitely a 10 out of 10. Because, well, as I stated, it's one of my favorite Black Series figures. And all the things I've gone over so far in this video, and just... Like, they did such an amazing job with this Zeb figure. I don't feel like there's much more I can say, because I've already gone over him in a different video. But, uh, yeah, they did such a great job with Zeb. Now, if you don't want to stay and watch me go over reasons of how proud I am to be a YouTuber, you can click off now. But... For those of you who do want to because you're a supporter of my channel or you have absolutely nothing to do, thanks for staying. So when I started being a YouTuber, I didn't actually plan on doing it for that long. I had planned on one video and that video was a how to build Lego Steve and now I'm doing Black Series reviews, rankings, like all kinds of videos, like anything. I've even done two joke videos. But now I'm doing Black Series reviews where I get to talk about the action figures I love collecting and playing with. Yeah, I'm 16 and I still play with toys. But uh, anyway, yeah, I just have fun being a YouTuber because I get to talk about the things that they either were idiots with when they were making a figure or how great they did a job, or like how great of a job they did with making a figure. So, yeah. Uh, this is Grand Admiral Thrawn, and this was my second anniversary, like my two year anniversary of being a YouTuber, and I plan on doing more videos, and I have fun doing this. So, 
Thank you to all 41 of you who are subscribed to my channel, and thank you to the people who aren't even subscribed to my channel but watch my videos. Anyway, this is Grand Admiral Thrawn, and as to, of today, I have reviewed four out of the six Rebels members, and up next will be a double review of Ezra and Chopper. And I plan on uploading that one either the day of the final episode of Ahsoka being released, or the day before. But anyway, this is Great Admiral Thrawn signing off, and I look forward to our next encounter in my next video. Thank you to all of you who have been watching my videos and are subscribers. It really means a lot.